Uh, my name is Kesna Rinam from National Institute of Informatics, Japan. And our team is uh, Team Eraser at the team, uh, Robotics uh, Loka at Home. And my talk is titled as Development of Loka at Home Simulation Towards Long Term Large Scale HRI. So, uh, Actually, uh, this is the first time to attend the World Cup for me because uh, I'm not a World Cup participant. But I, my first uh, this topic is shown is here as a human robot interaction. In other words, it is a journal, uh, general purpose surface robots. And always I am interested in human robot interaction experiments, but as you know, uh, these robots should uh, spend so high cost for the interaction experiment, for example, development and maintenance of the real robots, and at the same time, the cost for many test subjects is required. So, uh, even if I interested in concentrate on the high-level intelligence in the human robot interaction, like uh, planning or learning from the demonstration, or how the intelligence strategy to realize the human robot interaction or collaborative uh, conversation strategies. But due to some the hardware uh, cost or some troubles on the hardware, sometimes these high-level intelligence is quite difficult to perform. And uh, that, that, that is a common tendency on the RoboCup at home. Uh, even if the participant want to show the very intelligent function, but due to the hardware troubles, sometimes the robot and doesn't work and suspend it. Then, uh, another problem and another issue is the statistical analysis for the performance of robots. Sometimes we have to, not sometimes, always we have to write a journal, but the, in the review process of the journal, even the, such a videotape or such a robot have a very nice and good performance, but we have to show the statistical uh, significance. But, uh, it is quite difficult to do some more, many many interaction experiment for example twice or not only not only twice or uh, three times but 10 20 or 100 times repetition of the experiment might be required but it is quite difficult so uh, our proposal is to put using the simulator to propose and promote such a high level intelligent experiment in human robot interaction then uh, this is the uh, proposal of the simulator that should be used in the global cup at home. The name is the Sigverse. And uh, well, of course, so many uh, robotics simulator is existing in the uh, dynamics of the robots. For example, in recently, the Dalva Robot Challenge uses the very famous uh, robotics simulator. But uh, the one of the requirement and the one of the very important point to develop a special function for robotics uh, robot, robot, robot at home or for the general purpose service robot is the human existence of humans. So this is the function and the configuration of our simulator. Uh, these are the very famous and the standard function, the physics simulation and the perception simulation. Of course, this is the most important point. And uh, it is already uh, proposed in the usual robotic simulators. And additionally, the multi-agent communication it is one of the another uh, important function in the robot at home. Uh, that multi-user and multi-robot will make interaction in the simulator. That is uh, the third part, part of the Simulator. But of course, the multi agent simulation is also the conventional technologies. Then, uh, the most important point in this simulator is the bridging function between cyber and the real world. I mean, the, not only the virtual world, but the real, real human can join, log in to the virtual world to do the HLI, human robot interaction experiment. So, uh, of course, these each modules. Each function is developed in some simulator or some project, but I think it is quite uh, quite rare to integrate all of the four functions into the single simulator. So uh, the 
our simulator is the, one of the advantages and the most important point of our simulator is the integration of those four functions into a single simulator. So, uh, as I mentioned in the previous configuration, the one of the important points is that real human can join to the other and be such a simulator. And additionally, not only just one user, but also Mark user can load into the social interaction simulator. That is the most important point of our simulator. And to how to log into the simulator, uh, this is also the very conventional and uh, usual techniques, but uh, such a cheap and usual techniques is one of the important points to propose the worldwide simulator and promote the uh, community, to, to promote and grow the community for such a research on human robot interaction. Uh, due to the hard cost, the high cost for the development, maintenance of the robots, so I, I think so many students, so many researchers, so many participants want to add, uh, add, add, attend to such a RoboCup at home, RoboCup convention. But for example, the next time, next year, the Brazil, uh, I think so many teams will give up to go to Brazil due to the huge amount of budget is required. But uh, Kinect or head mount display, such a device is not so expensive. And the online simulation, online simulation using the internet is available. So I think so many, so many uh, participants, so many teams can attend to such a uh, simulation-based robot at home. By the way, I will show you some videotapes using the uh, user interface. The first one is HMD, we use it with a motion tracker. Then the user can looking around the. Uh, environment using such a HMD environment uh, in HMD devices. Additionally, uh, the Kinect is also a very famous device and uh, if the user stands in front of the PC with Kinect, the avatar can easily control by the user's uh, gesture uh, immediately. So the combination of those devices uh, provides such a Typical, simple uh, behavior in RoboCup at home task. For example, user point out the, some object to order to robot, uh, please pick up that object. And the robot can easily understand the gestures. But of course, in this movie, the voice recognition, voice synthesize is not appeared, but voice function is, of course, uh, added to the simulator.